What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Shino. Well, let's go back here, like a button. Welcome back to some Hoenn Cup Live. Hoenn Cup Live is this exclusive series on Shino World, basically where we do Hoenn Cup battles. Hoenn Cup battles are basically using Hoenn Pokemon only. Obviously, it's in the title. Duh. But welcome back to the channel. Be sure to smash that like button for 100 likes. Today, I have a battle against Kushoff. Oh my god, that's aka Dynamic Kush. If you guys do not know who he is, be sure to check out his channel. The link is in the description below. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get today's battle. So, before we get like completely dived in in today's battle, be sure to answer the question of the day. Today's question of the day is Who is your? Your favorite Hoenn gym leader of all time. I would have to say Flannery is my favorite Hoenn gym leader of all time because she was a new gym leader plus Flannery's bae, of course. But if I had to pick a male choice, it would be Broly. So it, it's like a cross between those two. That's like male and female. So go ahead and let me know who you choose in the uh, comment section below. And without further ado, be sure to smash that like button because you know when you smash that like button, you're supporting a series which supports me, which supports the channel, which makes us smile. Okay, that was awkward as fuck. But without further ado, let's get into it. Um, today we have the Hoenn Cup battle, like I said. Uh, this is about to be really, really interesting. Let's take a look at our teams that we have. Um, my team is hella offensive, I'm going to say that. Um, looking at this man team, he has a Ludicolo, Salamence. He comes with a motherfucking um, Cardon, a Kecleon. Camerub and a uh, Metagross. Um, why can't I say Metagross? Metagross is it's just like uh, my words block. I'm trying to find my phone so I can actually take a picture of this Neos team. Uh, so let me go ahead and snap it out. Like, sorry about that autofocus. That thing does that a lot. I don't know why, but uh, you guys know me. I move around a lot, so that's kind of my own personal part. Last time um, I played this guy. Uh, he led with a very odd Pokemon. It caught me off guard last time we played. So um, now I have to just be on toes and just be expecting everything. So right now we're gonna lead with Ninjas though because we have that Ninjas. Basically what Ninjas is, Ninjas is um, our setter upper. He's basically helping uh, us set up our Pokemon. So depending on what this man leads with, that depends on what we're gonna set up. Um, so let's see how this actually plays out. If this man leads with um, his camera up, you know, this is going to be weird because camera up does get up Star Rocks. But I'm going to go ahead and protect right off the bat, get the speed boost, and then I'm going to follow up with the uh, Baton Pass up to uh, out my Lodic. Because, you know, my Lodic is very bulky in the special defensive area when it comes to dealing with other opposing threats. So right now, he leads with my Olympics. Not bad. I kind of predicted that. But hey, you know what? Meh. It's kind of iffy about that. So right now we have our ninja ask on the field though. So right now off the back we're gonna go for protect. Um, I guess he feel like he knows we're gonna go for protect. So he's he should be able to set up his star rocks. He that's what he's gonna do. He, he might set up his star rocks right off the back. Um, that's that's like the obvious key right here. Oh, he goes for fire blast. All right, so not bad, not bad. We get the speed boost. Obviously we outspeed anyway. But following the speed boost, we're gonna go for the baton pass. Um, that is not something I actually wanted to do because uh, I wanted to be able to switch into my Breloom because you guys know I love Breloom. Breloom is so strong. Um, but I, I'm not going to be able to switch into my Breloom because this man is obviously using Fire Blast. We're going to go strictly into our Milotic. Why not? Milotic is obviously the more dangerous thing to deal with this uh ground fire type so um he's going for stone edge okay so stone edge is actually ridiculous um i don't know who he, who he thought i was gonna like, go into but uh obviously it wasn't what he anticipated so right now um off back i'm gonna go for the almighty scald here regardless of the fact even if he switches into his salamence that'll get burned even if he goes into his kekline even kekline even though it's like bulky as fuck and you know that's special defensive to hell it'll still get burned and it'll be small damage over time and that'll be actually pretty decent it will serve us a better purpose in the end hopefully we do get the burn usually when i say i'm gonna get these things i actually do get them so hopefully that actually comes through oh he goes into ludicolo ludicolo oh my god that thing is so so diverse when it comes to battling um and we do not get the burn obviously but ludicolo oh my god this thing is actually scary um ranges ludicolo is uh, is really a thing and it, it causes so many problems for people um i i just fear the grass type moves this man has so um uh, Obviously, he switches to his Ludicolo. Um, I think the best bet for me is to go into me Metagross. Um, I, I feel like Metagross will be able to serve and defend against uh, Ludicolo a little bit better than um, my Lodic because you know what? This man. Oh, he goes for Rain Dance. All right, so yeah, he, he's either running a very, very tricky sweat set. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, we're going to go for uh, an agility here. Oh wait, a soul vest prevents me from using agility. I did not know that. That was the first time 
I actually knew that. I, I actually put the wrong item on this uh, Ludicolo, so that is actually my own mistake. So I apologize for that, guys. Uh, I should have actually put a different, you know, move on it. But hey, you know what? Uh, that did a lot. That did a lot. That did a lot. We're going to follow his in head, but oh my god. Uh, I wish I would have put a different item on it instead of that. Um, damn it. <laughs> I said I bring the wrong one. Why every time I battle, I bring the wrong fucking Metagross? Uh, this Metagross does not have Bullet Punch, so right at this time, I'm going to go ahead and sack this Metagross. I know he feels as though I'm going to go. Oh, he thought I was going to switch out because he thought I was going to try to save it and, you know, preserve it. But nah, I'm not going to try to preserve it at this point. I see no, I see no reason to preserve it. Um,. Right now, we're going to go back into uh, our ninjas because ninjas is also fast as shit. Um, this is actually a leftovers ninjas, uh, which we're going to go into him. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to protect stall. And then once we get the speed boost, we're going to go for uh, uh, bug bus. Not bug bus. Uh, X-Scissors. X-Scissors. Basically, to kill off this Ludicolo. But that's only if he does not kind of predict that and just switch out into a different Pokemon. Um... What is this shadow on my face? Uh, it's like I have the shadow of the day. Is this the shadow on my face? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I have a weird shadow on my face right now. It's just, I feel like I have a weird shadow on my face. Let me know if you guys see a weird shadow on my face. I don't know, nigga, please. Let's get it. <laughs> That's crazy as hell. Uh, but let's see. Let's see. Let's just see. Uh, what is this Ludicolo going to do? Oh, he withdraws the Ludicolo. Okay. Um, basically, he doesn't want this Ludicolo to die. He doesn't want Ludicolo to die. Alright, so the Protect Stall was a fail, obviously. But now we're going to go uh, back into our... We're going to go back into... We're going to Baton Pass Burk into the Almighty Melodic. Because, you know what, Stone Age ain't do shit. It's raining, so uh, obviously the... Um, the, 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 the fire blast ain't gonna do anything so let's play a few mind games with this guy let's 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 let's, let's get a little technical with this man um now we're gonna go back into my loading because stone age ain't do nothing um i'm pretty sure fire blast in the rain ain't gonna do nothing stone age again you know what we eat up that stone age obviously like we did before the rain stopped which is good so at this range this man can't switch into ludicolo because ludicolo is going to take some damage if he does switch into ludicolo which is going to be pretty good um and even if that's the case if he doesn't switch into ludicolo just trying to preserve it and keep it alive uh, i'm gonna go for toxic so whatever he switches into and that's in case his cacleon does come in his cacleon will get toxic up and that'll be pretty much uh cacleon that we can stall out you know because we do have recover on this melodic which is going to be the best thing for it right now yes he does withdraw so that that means we predicted kind of oh he went into crafts that's not bad not bad so we kind of fuck this whole thing up right now we just pretty much suss this guy out um this thing is very very difficult to deal with because this man does get dragon dance so we're gonna go for the skull next turn i feel like the skull is not gonna do anything but hopefully we does get we do get the burn and that's gonna pretty much render this thing completely useless oh, we can't get a burn what am i saying oh my god we just poisoned it i see no what the fuck uh hmm yeah, I, I feel as though he's about to go for Dragon Dance. It, it's like, that's the best option here. Dragon Dance to set up with his Milotic. So when he goes for Dragon Dance, we will already get to jump on him by switching into our Breloom, which has Mach Punch. Um, he goes for Knock Off. Okay, so we're going to defend that Knock Off uh, pretty decently. Um, yeah, and he does not, he does not, you know, go in. He does not get, like, what he wants to get. So uh, we're going to go for Mach Punch here. Mach Punch is like the best thing to do. He can switch it to Metagross, you know, probably take up, like, eat up the Mach Punch. But I know we will outspeed the uh, Metagross unless he carries the Bullet Punch, um, which everybody pretty much carries. So we're going to go for Mach Punch here, which he's scared of. Um, and he goes into Metagross, like I said, which Metagross obviously has the, uh, not the Mach Punch, but the, the Bullet Punch. It, it, it should have the Bullet Punch anyways. Um, that was a critical hit. That was, that was a crit. Wow, wow. So, I don't know. I don't know. If he doesn't have Bullet Punch, you know, we're going to live this turn. And he, we go for sport. So right now we're about to sword dance. Uh, we're about to try to set up and you know get a few dangerous moves off on him because as you guys know from my last stream highlight, this man Breloom is very fucking dangerous. This man becomes one of those Pokemon that you really have to work watch out for, and this is one of those Pokemon that you really can't take a lot of chances with. So hopefully you know we put ourselves in a good position where we can actually do way more damage to this Metagross. He woke up first turn. Wow. Wow, that's the only type of luck. The only type of person get that type of luck is Shino. Shino does the only person get that type of luck. Um, we're gonna go for Spore one more time. Why not? Because you know what? 
we're that guy. We're going to be that guy. We're going to be that guy. You know, we're going to put you to sleep again, buddy. Um, go back to sleep. Take a nap. I need you to, to chill out and, you know, uh, catch some Z's. So you're fast asleep. You're fast asleep. Now I'm going to follow up with another sword dance. Um, hopefully this man stays asleep and not get his inhaler butt off of me. Please stay asleep. Please. I'm, I'm being greedy. I'm being greedy. She know, I, she know world has been proven to be a greedy bastard. Um, so... Okay, it's fast asleep. Now we're in range where we can pretty much bop a lot of shit. So hopefully things get relatively good for us. So we're gonna follow with the mock punch. Which am I what am I mostly worried about is he probably wanted to sack this thing off so he could use Kecleon. Uh oh, he used he uses reflect. Okay, he's still awake. He's still alive. Wow, this thing is so 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 like dangerous. Oh my god. This 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 Metagross, it just doesn't want to die. But this Metagross is just like, yo, nigga, I'm back, I'm black, I'm ready, I'm tough, nigga, I'm ready to go. What's popping though? Um this Metagross, yeah, this is dead Metagross. Um I feel like he's gonna go to Kecleon next. Kecleon is going to serve the purpose of using fake out. Um we could be that guy and we could keep this Breloom alive for that card on and we can switch out and not have to uh, see he does go into Kecleon, which pretty much I predict so well. Um at this point in time, uh I know he's gonna go for a fake out. So following that fake out, I am going to go into I'm gonna go into slacking because why not? Slacking I think slacking can eat up a fake out. I, he can eat up a up a fake out really well. Um so and then I don't think he has anything that can safely switch into a choice bandit slacking. Um, you know, choice bandit slacking. Slacking's already fast as fuck. Plus he has an attack of like 400, and I forgot what it was exactly, but it's like 400. So there's a fake out, which I predict. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so now I have to play a little bit more technical. Um, following that, I am going to go for. Uh, let's see. Why not? We're gonna go for a Giga Impact because Giga Impact is so strong, and, and we have to recharge anyway. So why not go for Giga Impact? Um, regardless of who, what he switches out into, um, I don't feel like nothing can take a Choice Bandit Giga Impact from a fucking slacking. Like that is gonna be dangerous as fuck. Yeah, like that's gonna be dangerous. Um, the reason why I run Choice Bandit slacking is because uh, Nappy, the King Nappy, actually used this a lot in Free For Us. Um, he's another reason why I started using this thing because I saw how like dangerous it was. So what is he gonna switch it to? Uh, I don't feel like nothing. Oh, he switches out to Mount Olympics. All right, so Mount Olympics is about to take this choice band and then Giga Impact. Oh, living it. He live it with a slither. Like he barely lives it. Like Jesus Christ, man. Oh my God, that 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 did so much to you. Like God damn. Whoa, zero. Ay ay ay. That's a spicy meat to the ball. Oh. So whatever he does with Mount Olympics here, because we have to recharge. We go for Fire Blast. Um, hopefully, I wish it would have still been raining, but it, it's not raining. Um, so we're still alive. We're still alive. We're still alive. Uh, at this range, at this range, I'm going to go for. Uh, eh, eh, eh. I'm gonna go for Earthquake. Why not? Oh wait, I'm stuck in Choice Band. Ah, stupid Shino. Stupid Shino. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Because the reason why I said that because you know slacking is fast plus he is really strong. It just has that stupid ass ability. Um, it's like that is like so bad. Like that ability is so annoying to deal with. Um, but we did take out this uh, camera up, which actually puts it into um my ninja -ass schemes. So my ninja -ass is still alive, which we still have our schemes to go with. Um, so that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But another thing we have to worry about is this uh Kecleon. Kecleon is so 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 dangerous. Kecleon, oh my god. There's so many mind games with Kecleon. I don't know why. It's just like every time I see a Kecleon, I get extremely intimidated. Um, this man is about to try to set up with this thing. I already know. Um, like, that's the, like, the go-to key. Because we have to recharge. Either that he's going to kill me or he's going to set up um, and use Aqua Jet. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I see the best bet for him doing is to set up. Um, but even if we switch out, we can pretty much... Oh, he goes for Aqua Jet off the back. Okay. So he pretty much wants to get this thing ready, get rid of this thing. Um, I didn't, I didn't think, I don't think that was like the best move. I don't think that's the best move at all. Um, I felt like he could have, you know, did something like Dragon Dance and you know, pretty much uh, kill me off. But now we're gonna go into Shrooms, aka my uh, Breloom. I know Breloom is pretty much at his like in. And you know, we do have star rock damage, but right now, even if he switches out, you know, what is going to be able to take this mock punch? Uh, I know this is gonna, this, I got crabs because <laughs> I got crabs is gonna die. Um, and if he switches to Kekalina, Kekalina will not be able to take that hit well at all. Uh, and you know what, that is a dead. I got crabs, so wait, wait, what? Oh my god, this man lived that. 
he's bulky. I didn't realize he was that bulky. I didn't realize that thing was that bulky at all. Wow. Uh, I expected that to do more damage. Um, but probably that's because I, every time I'd use that move, uh, it's probably sword danced up. So, yeah. It's not like I diamonds killed a lot of shit. So, oh, he had up a reflect. He had a rip of reflect. So, that is why. That is why. That is why. That is why. So, that reflect is very dangerous. I see you, big dog. I see you. I see you. I see you, man. All right. So, right off the back, um, I feel like this man is going to go for an aqua jet. Uh, let's go for protect. Let's go protect. Let's be that guy. We're going to protect. We're going to protect. We're going to protect. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Uh, Aqua Jack. There's the Aqua Jack, obviously. Um, we're gonna protect. We get a little bit of leftovers damage back. Um, we're gonna follow up with. Uh, 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 this man is. He keeps so many Pokemon alive. He does such a good job at that. Um, and. He, he keeps me at edge every time, so I I don't know. The Aqua Jet is pretty. I don't know. I, Aqua Jet is gonna be dangerous at this range. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh my God! Oh, we hang on with Belly, with Belly any HP. Not bad, not bad. So uh, yes, that I got crabs just died. That's 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 just pretty decent. Um, I know, you know, he, he has the Kaki line, so that Kaki line is gonna come in and try to use fake out. So that's gonna be something we have to really worry about. Uh, Kaki line is so. So like dangerous. Why are you so dangerous, Kekla? Why you do this? Why you do this to Sinora? Ah, arriba, andale, andale, mucho gusto, ay que peblosa. I'm not saying anything, but I'm saying some random shit. Oh, ay caramba. So all right, so now we have that almighty dangerous uh Kekla around. So we're going for protect. Why not protect? Why not protect? Why not protect? Why not? Uh, why not use protect? Cause we're gonna be that guy. Um, let's go figure out. Obviously. We're gonna protect from figure out because we knew he was gonna figure, figure out, obviously. Um, we're gonna go ahead and baton pass up into. Uh, we can't baton pass. You know what? 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 Hold up one sec. I wanna see how how defensive Kekleon is, actually. I, 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 just, I just have to know. I just have to know. Like, because I, I, I just know Kekleon is such a dangerous motherfucking Pokemon. Um, and I don't know his overall stats. So give me one sick yo, and I'm about to get that guy for you, right? No. Um, I bet he's probably gonna be like, yo, Shino, you did a damage kill in the middle of a battle. Hey, uh, yeah, nigga. You know what? Fuck. I have the option to, so, um. Lee on. Get Lee on. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, give me that Pokemon. Give me that Pokemon. Where's the smogus net? Where's the smogus net? Uh, uh, uh. No, I'll just take Cerebi, because, uh, Cerebi, uh, because Smog is being a cunt, means a cunt, means a cunt, means a cunt, means a cunt, I don't like that, um, so let's look at this man's stats, you guys are really looking at me do this, uh, where are you fucking stats, Cerebi, what is this shit, Cerebi, what is this shit, you know what, fuck Cerebi, um, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go back in time, and then we're gonna go to Smog, because, fuck Cerebi, Cerebi is, it's fucking up right now. Um, <laughs> it's not that it's fucking up. It's just like I don't use stats and so therapy. I can't find shit on therapy ever. So let's go look at this means. Okay, so his defensive this, ah, his physical defense is ass. Um, so at this range, I'm gonna just go and attack it with the stab. X Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Sucker punch! Fuck! Why didn't I predict that? I should have just put on pass into my loaded and I'll spread everything. See no, see no, see no, see no, see no, see no. Alright, so we're gonna go back into I have my loaded because um, that's pretty much all we can do right now. Uh, see no, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? So, right now, off the back, we're gonna go for Toxic on this man because obviously this guy is such a fucking threat you know and I'm just gonna have to stall this man out I'm just gonna have to stall this man out he's gonna use power punch here and he's trying to take advantage of his protein ability uh, so that is dangerous that is gonna be dangerous um, and I should have just went for skull hopefully get the burn but you know what I use toxic like a dumbass so yeah um, we're gonna go for skull one more time let's go for skull just to see what it does See how much damage Skull does get off. A power punch on Kecleon is something that I didn't know it actually could get. So now I'm about to start running that on my uh, Kecleon. So thanks for, for that, uh, Kashav. You just actually showed me something. So power punch, sucker punch. Okay, 
that's dangerous. Kecleon is such such a dangerous Pokemon. Um, he goes into his Salamence. Hopefully, hopefully by the prey of Hax Mo, nigga. Uh, can we get a burn? Can we get a burn? And we get no fucking burn. We never get burns. We never get no love when it comes to burns. Like ever, 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 ever. Uh, but when it comes to Salamence, we do have Ice Beam, which is four times effective when it comes to Salamence. I don't know what he's gonna, he's going for Dragon Claw, uh, that's gonna be Stab. And you know what, Salamence is so strong. But we managed to kill that off with this Ice Beam. Um, good, that's great, that's great. We got rid of mess. we got rid of the Salamence. Salamence is so dangerous. Oh my god, this is, this is, this is getting good. This is like, the battle is like peaking. Um, but Salamence is so powerful when it comes to the battles. And it's just like, you have to watch out for it because a Choice Scar Salamence with Dragon Claw, that's like Stab, plus he gets Mati. And even if it's like Stab or super effective, you know, this man puts in so much work. Um, now, watching out for this Ludicolo. Uh, hopefully we outspeed this Ludicolo and we kill it off with the Ice Beam. I pray to the heavens that we outspeed this Ludicolo. I really do. I really do. I really do. I need I need us to outspeed this Ludicolo. I'm pretty sure we do, but I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the I don't know Ludicolo's base stats. Um, I'm not a book. I don't memorize everything. Um, but you know what? He uses Rain Dance. Okay. Which served him as a he should have just went for Giga Drain. I I seen him doing better using Giga Drain. Um, because Ice Beam is about to just kill you. Ice Beam is about to kill you. Um, Ice Beam is about to kill you off. Yes, Ice Beam is about to kill you off like a big dog. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And he just made my skull stronger. So, next turn, I'm going to use Recover, and I'm going to follow up with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, uh, fuck. The next turn, I'm going to use Recover, and I'm going to follow up with the, uh, Skull, because Skull is boosted in the rain, right? It's water type move. Why not? Why not? Okay, so let's, let's do that. Um, we're going to Recover here. We're gonna recover here. All right, so we're, we're we got a held back. We got a held back, but I feel like he's going for power punch again. Um, I, he did better going for fake out to stop the recover. Uh, but you know what? He didn't do that. So um, I know he's probably sitting there like, damn, why didn't I use Giga Drain? I'm pretty sure him using Rain Dash was a misclick. Um, I don't know. He haven't told me anything yet. He hasn't sent the message yet. Um, but I I hope it was a misclick because I don't see I don't see like I, I wasn't ranged enough for him to use Giga Drain and possibly kill me. Because it's still a super effective move, even though I have high special defense. But now I'm going to follow up with the Skull, which is going to be boosted the rain, plus his man is toxic. Um, and obviously the Power Punch isn't doing as much damage as he needed to do. Um, and he uses Power Punch one more time. Uh, which, uh, I think he's basically boosting that move so he can use Sucker Punch. It makes Sucker Punch stronger, so he gets priority. Uh, but, you know what, you know what, you know what. Uh, we're going to use Scald one more time, one more time. And then we're going to recover Scald this man. Because I feel like that's what he's going to do. And because he's setting himself up to make himself like so much better uh, when it comes to uh, fighting against my Latios. Like if he, I send out Latios, this Kegel I can actually turn it around. Um, so that's what I'm worried about. And he uses recover. Yes, he uses recover. So that's that's see that's that's what I'm that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm really looking at. You know because if he set himself up in a proper position where he can get in and. If he could get in, he used Sucker Punch against my Latios. That's a dead Latios because this man has two power-up punches and he has Sucker Punch. So that's going to be super effective against my Latios, which uh, actually has me nerve-wracking right now. This is really, really, really one of those uh, nerve-wracking moments in Pokemon battles that, that, that puts you on it. So we're going to go for Skull one more time. Uh, hopefully this man dies this turn. Um, hopefully, hopefully this man dies this turn. Uh, uh, and he lives with a Slither and he goes for Power Punch again. Power Punch again. This power punch is uh, about to make him do still decent amount of damage. I mean, Kegelion attack is so low that, you know, it, it wasn't enough. Um, he's going to die the poison here now. Yeah, so this is pretty much GG. Uh, I, I saw him recover stalling, but he pretty much did. I guess he didn't want to be a stall guy and didn't want to lead the battle on as long as, his, as, as it possibly could be because this already was a long match indeed because there was like a lot of predictions and a lot of plays played out in this battle. This this was one of those battles that, um, honestly, I would say it was a great battle. You know, he played very well. He played very well. I guess it came along to uh, me starting to pick up a little bit more when it comes to tacticals, but I'm going to say this. Prior to this battle, we did have a battle and 
and in that battle he did beat me um but we, i wanted to bring out this battle and you know i wanted to have a better battle because you know what uh, me being the guy i'm out i want to show you guys like better battles like battles that are you know like decent that you guys are actually going to enjoy um like the other battle i'm pretty sure you guys would enjoy it but i feel like this was a way much better battle than that battle was so i'm gonna give him props for actually beating me in our first battle um you know i got props in the second battle so without further ado this is Vecino world go goes make sure you smash that like button so we can hit that like goal don't forget to ask their question today which is who is your favorite hoenn gym leader of the all time like just let me know who your favorite hoenn gym leader uh be sure to check out diamond I don't know, dynamic kush's channel in the description below um his name is kishoff he's actually a great wi-fi battler um i do enjoy his videos i watched him myself um he's a little bit smaller youtuber than i am but you guys should definitely check him out because he does bring in some uh good and high worthy content so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here see you guys later